I'm Alessandra Melito, the technology reporter and investment news. Up next is Lowell Putnam, the co-founder and CEO of Quovo, to talk about the hottest trends in data aggregation. So in the data aggregation space, we're seeing a lot of things changing right now, and it's really exciting for us. Uh, we're seeing a blurring of traditional lines and a new definition for things that used to be quite different. For example, who's using aggregation is changing. Uh, everyone today has to put a little bit of financial planning into their practice, and planning requires more data about an individual. Uh, traditionally, people said, oh, I don't need to aggregate because I don't need to know more about my clients. But today, I think the industry realizes that more data about clients deepens relationships, and, uh, and that's where people like Quovo come in. The concept of data aggregation isn't new. Advisors have been aggregating data for their clients on their held away accounts for a long time. What's really changing today is the degree to which technology is enhancing and improving that process. Uh, we're not seeing people just key in information from statements anymore, and nor should they. Uh, technology providers like Quovo allow advisors to have that entire process streamlined, automated, and more complete. This means more data about every client, deeper data about every account, um, and a lot less time for the advisor to spend on aggregation. Better data from aggregation really opens up a whole world of new possibilities for it. Uh, in the past, aggregation has been about positions, balances, really, really basic stuff. Uh, where we see things moving is more transaction focused. So historical performance, risk, uh, suitability, compliance. When you have uh, usable, accurate data, there's so much more you can do with it. Uh, transitioning into an insights product instead of just a data product is where we see the industry moving. We're seeing a redefinition in the types of data that are getting aggregated today too. Um, at Quovo at least, we don't see a difference between a bank account, a credit card, a discretionary account, or a held away brokerage account. Uh, data is data, an account is an account. Everything tells a different piece of the story about a client. We're seeing advisors use client data throughout the entire client relationship. Aggregation and client data isn't just about the prospecting period or an onboarding period. It's about a full life cycle of a client experience with an advisor. Uh, aggregation may not even tell you anything useful for the first year of using it, and then all of a sudden, boom, a spending alert comes up that trips a trigger through your aggregation provider, and all of a sudden you have a new conversation you can begin with your clients.